Today we're making planet 4546b from Subnautica. We'll start by making the actual planet, then attempting to get the orbits right with the two moons. All right, so we're gonna start with a blank simulation here. The planet is in the Milky Way galaxy, so we can keep this background here. So the first step is going to be starting with a star. Let's just put the sun in and then rename this to, so the star's name is 4546. And the reason that the planet is 4546b is because it was the first planet discovered after this. So technically the star could be 4546 or 4546a. And we'll keep the stats the same as the sun just because the star is gonna be very similar to it anyway and there's not like an exact measurement. So now that we have the star, let's go ahead and turn on the habitable view. The planet is in the habitable zone. Add a random rocky planet. Okay, so we got our planet in the habitable zone. All right, so here's what we're gonna start with. So the planet is a little bit smaller than Earth. So let's do probably about 0.83 mass of Earth and what makes this planet special is it is almost entirely covered in water so we can go to surface and go to sea level and just turn this up I'm actually going to make it all covered and it does have a couple small islands on it so we can actually go into tools and planetscaping go to elevation and add a little bit of islands very small Okay, perfect. So we just got a couple small islands on here and now we're gonna add the atmosphere. So we can go to surface and go down to the atmosphere and we'll just add a one Earth's atmosphere. So already this is looking very good. I want a lot of cloud coverage because if there's a lot of ocean, there's gonna be a lot of activity in the clouds. I'm liking the way that's looking. That's looking pretty good. So we got our planet here now, our rotational period. So the thing about it is it does spin very fast but if we make it spend 20 minutes um, for a whole day on here, the planet will actually explode, which I, I tried and it did explode. So we're just gonna leave it at this. So it's still spinning very fast. Only in three hours you go from day to night. In six and a half hours, it's an entire day cycle. So we'll leave it like that. Now that we got our planet, we're gonna wanna do the moons. First, we're gonna put the white moon. So we're gonna go random moon and the white moon's probably about this far away. The white moon looks very similar to our moon on Earth. So if we just change some of the visuals here, that should be good. And let's see how this is gonna look in the nighttime. So if we go and land on the planet here. So at night, this is what the moon would look like in the sky. And that's pretty good. That's pretty close to what it looks like in the game. So we got our white moon now, and now we have the red moon, which is a lot closer. Okay, so for the red moon, it orbits more like around the top of it. We're gonna want this one to be pretty close. Put it probably a little bit more, like right here, and make this one a little bit bigger. All right. So it looks like we need to adjust its orbit a little bit. Okay, and then let's design it so it looks more right. It's like dark orange. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's see if this orbits okay without ripping anything apart. Perfect. So if we land on the planet and then look into the sky, there's the moon, which actually looks very good in size compared to what you see in the game. It's kind of hard to see it, but it is right there. Maybe if we wait till it's dark and then look at it. There it is. The night sky. Looks pretty good. Okay, so here's 4546b. We got the red moon and the white moon in a system. And the habitability on this planet, just to check, we are at 69.3% and a 95% Earth similarity. So this is very good. Um, there are other planets in the system, but there's not any information on them, so I'm not going to worry about adding them. If you'd like to see this simulation, it will be in the link in the description. It will be in the Steam Workshop, and the link to that will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what fictional planet you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys next time.